Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I made a tutorial about this ship build quite a few months ago and I have made modifications since then. On my last video about the interior decorations, quite a few of you have asked about it. So I thought I'd make an updated tutorial for this ship with the new modifications. This is my main ship. It used to be the Frontier. It is the only ship in the game that you cannot sell. And because of that, I wanted to make a ship that is worthy, that you can use in any scenario. So I spent a lot of time actually modifying this ship. This is technically my third video about this ship. So let's, let's get started. I'm gonna start with an overview. I'm gonna let you guys read the, the numbers, the stats, see if you like them. While you do that, I'm going to do a quick spinny spin spin for the ship. I think the back side, the back view is probably my favorite. Of the different combinations that I've tried with those engines, this is probably my favorite one. It looks really nice, really aggressive, this asymmetric kind of organization. Right now it only has one ladder that is from the second floor to the third floor, but from the first to the second, no ladders, you use the carpet to get there. It is a well-rounded ship, it has everything. It's not the fastest, it's not the one with the most cargo, but it has everything you need as your main ship and is good for any situation. It is maxed out on areas that matter, so mobility is 100, jump range is 30 light years, crew is 10, so all that is maxed out. We do not want a sluggish ship with low mobility or a short shooter Diggity. that cannot go all the way when it comes to jump range. So we have plenty of helium as well to support the jump range. Okay, so let's get started with the building. I'm going to put on screen a shopping list. This is not the entire shopping list of all the parts, but rather just a shopping list of all the unique parts, those parts that you have to go to specific ship vendors to get them. Because this is my suggestion. You take a ship that you're going to use to build this one. And if you don't have one, I suggest go to Serpentis. It is here to the right side of the map. You will see Serpentis. If you press left alt, you will be able to populate all the names of all the systems. And it is to the right of Creeks. And go there, anywhere, any planet in there, chances are 90% you will face enemy ships, so you can grab one there. And if you're lucky, you get one of those Varun Prophecy 3. Those are very expensive. I think some of the most expensive enemy ships. If you get one of those, even better, because it will save you some credits when you build this ship. And talking about credits, an educated guess, I'll put the cost at around 800,000 credits. If you do not have enough credits, again, I would suggest Serpentis, go there, farm some ships, sell them. I find that to be still one of the best way to earn money in this game. Especially now it's easier after the update because when you go to the gameplay options, you're able to now increase the vendor credits. I believe all vendors that used to be 5,000, now they jump to 25,000 each. I'm not too sure about the ship vendors. So you have that option as well. Uh, you can just increase it while you need it, and then you can always reduce it back once you start playing the game again and uh, to get you know that extra XP. It shouldn't be too much of a problem to get credits in this game now. And uh, most of the parts, when possible, I always try to buy them from the Nova Galactic or the Deimos vendors. In case you didn't know, those two vendors sell the same parts for cheaper. Unfortunately, they do not have all the parts, but they do have most of the parts and it's always like about 10% cheaper. It's not a glitch. I think the game was designed that way. So yeah, just in case you didn't know, it is cheaper at those two locations. So coming back, after you get everything, 
go to your outpost hopefully you have your own big landing pad and do the building there if you do not have your own landing pad just build one I think a few thousand credits in materials is enough for you to have that you should definitely have one with that out of the way I have the ship now separated in different sections we're gonna go one section at a time and uh hopefully hopefully this is not too confusing i mean i'll i'll give you a step by step you know I'll, I'll go over all the parts with you so i think we'll start with the cockpit i think this is probably a easy place to start so we're gonna go there so there's the Nova galactic this is the cabo bridge and it is the two stories one so what I have is just a couple of halves and uh, you can go like I did here which is a 2x2 two two plus a 2x1 side to side or if you prefer you can get one of those 3x2 so, so instead of having two you will have one then on top there's another 2x1 right here I use one of the new ones the empty ones and uh, all that gets attached to the, the bridge and below that we have two landing gears these are the whole five landing gears and uh, then we have some helium tanks and this is the cross brace the the bridge that connects to one of the wings so pretty simple just you know that kind of square that would be the cockpit and then on top of that I have a weapon this is the exterminator helium beam so we have that now we have two wings i have here a tile two by one this is uh, one of the new empty ones as well then we have a weapon mount in front of that the nova galactic weapon mount and uh, two more structures below these are from straw these are the straw cap a and the straw calling so pretty simple this connects to the bridge the the top half connects to the bridge and it is on the first one and on the other side is the same so exactly the same but reverse goes on the other side and that is that is it for this section so we're gonna just leave that and now we are going to this middle section I'm going to maybe separate this for you guys to see it's pretty simple not a lot of stuff going on it's just a hub this is a storeroom, a one by one, and behind that I have a spine. And I do like to use spines whenever possible just to reduce the chances of the game having ladders show up when I don't want them. And uh, two landing gears, these are the Deimos landing gears, very common, and below a Hope landing bay, and it is going to, so, so this is the entrance that goes to the hub. Then we have two big large helium tanks. These are the 600 T's. And then I have these two smaller shielded cargo holes that are kind of attached to the, uh, to the first level of the helium tank. It's just hidden there. I add them this one just to try to hit that even 6,000 cargo hold. So I put two here. And that is it for this section. Then. This section behind is pretty easy as well. Just a two by one hub and flanked by two two by twos. I have a battle station, a living quarters on the other end. And behind that is a one by one. And the one by one is the access for the docker. So I have a docker that is facing down. And hidden here is a structure, it's a tire breaking engine. Absolutely just for looks, not nothing else. We have some more landing gears. These are the Nova Galactic NG20 landing gears. I believe I have four of those. So there's two here on each side. However, uh, different variants. So I have this one and then this variant. So there are two different variants. Same thing on the other side. And then behind, next to the hub, uh, the one by one, we have two Nova Galactic NG10 landing gears and uh, this is a structure I don't like hubs ending that way I always like to put something uh, so there is this one and then there is a window portal here and then here these are two cargo holds these are the Galeon S204s and they sit on top of the landing gear one of the landing gears and then connects the salt engine so that's that 
and the dash dash section. So it's pretty easy. You know, once you we divide this into different sections, it's not that complicated. I added some portholes as well. Feel free to not have those if you don't like windows in your ship. I personally like them, so I have quite a lot of those. So, and then everything, you know, just center, just connect them center. Uh, same thing with the, uh, with the hub. Once you have, since we already have this part, we can also now put this in. And it just sits right there on top of the landing bay and everything just kind of fits. We almost have the most of the ship pretty much done. Let's now go to the second level, which is this one. It's gonna go behind there, and we have this is the this is one of those two by threes. I also chose an empty one, so you could totally put another one of this one, you know, and replace that first floor behind the cockpit. And there is a computer core here. This is also an empty one that I turned into an armory and two structures, just two braking engines on each side, more portholes, more windows. This is a Nova Bracer, just a structure to connect the engine. Otherwise, there's nothing connecting this engine. So you're gonna need something here. It could be a hub, it could be anything, something that will connect. And that is it, it's very simple. Just two hubs, a couple of structures and the two engines. So we can highlight that and very easy you know you will have to link to the computer core here so everything just links and there so everything is flash so let's go now to the wings pretty simple is is all structure here just two strauss cap a top to bottom these two are also the same just different variants of each other the strauss calling this is the l a l b and the reason why this is L uh, B because I'm able to add this on top. This one has nothing, you cannot add anything. So this demo spine is here just to kind of give it a little bit a slope, you know, so it's not too aggressive. And it ends with the demo's tail. Below that is a Stroud engine mount. So it's this thing, it is flipped so that it is at the bottom. And then this is a demo's belly. So we grab that and we can just kind of uh, put it in here and everything is sits flash, right? I think it sits flash. I forgot. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Is this here or is here? Yeah, no, 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 that's, that's not right. So it is, it is here. Everything sits flash at the, at the back behind. So that goes in here. And same thing with the other side, exactly the same items and boom, everything sits flush. So now all we have left is the top floor and the top floor should not be too complicated. So let's talk about it. We have a two by one hub, another one. This is another empty one connected to the one by one and we have two hubs on each side as well. And behind here, now we have the grab drive and behind that, the reactor. So just those two things behind and at the top sits everything flash. And then we have the shield uh, generator here at the top. Uh, some weapons, another weapon mount here, more weapons. These are the obliterator 250s. So, oh, so I should probably mention the other weapons. So those are the, Obliterators 250s, these are the smaller ones, the Exterminators 95. And then I have another one here, the third type is the PB-175 Helium Beams. So those are all the weapons that we have here on this ship. And this is a structure, Deimos Breaking Engine. This is another structure, the Deimos Spine. This is flipped, so it's facing the back. And then here we have the, the top one is a structure, is a tire mid cap. This one is the braking engine. Um, below that, I did not use another mid cap flip. I instead I put a cargo hole here. I just hit a cargo hole below because it kind of they kind of match the shape, so that's there. And then finally we have the engine at the top here. This is a Deimos radiator, another spine, same as this one. Oh, there's a jammer here. This is a scan jammer for contraband. So that's there. 
and there is a demo's tail here at the back. So same thing on the other side, nothing different, exactly the same, and a couple of windows here and there. So that's it, and you can just kind of highlight everything, everything should go together, and this goes in here. So the back side sits flash, so that's all you need to know. It doesn't go here, it doesn't go forward, because the weapon gets in the way, so you can only put it here. So yeah, and everything is flash. So there you have it. That is the that is the ship, and yeah, it's fully built. Uh, I am not gonna take you guys on the inside because I already have a video for that. I'll put the link in the description. So other than that, this is this is the build. This is the build. I'll hit a pause on new Starfield videos for the next week because Hellblade 2 is releasing on Tuesday and I really do want to play that game and I will be making videos of course of that game as well. So if you're interested, don't forget to help me with your support, subscribe to my channel. I never send out notifications when I post a new video so you will not get interruptions from this channel. That is mi promesa. And uh, all right, thank you all for watching, enjoy the game, have fun, and I see you all in the next video.